Good morning everybody, who's ready for a kick ass day? I'm flying back and I think Sally knows. Where is she? Okay, well she was scratching now, but she's just been standing staring at me, like sulking. So I think she knows and I feel kind of bad because I don't know how to tell her that I'll be back soon because she's a dog, but I will be back soon. She always makes it so much harder to leave. Anyway, um, I'm going to go wake Dad up. It's like 5.30 Sydney time, which is bloody early. Today has been awesome. So first of all, the taxi that we ordered last night for 6 a.m. this morning didn't show up until 6.44. Even though my dad called like three times, apparently he got lost and then got here just in time. But as you just saw, so packed because everyone wants to fly home. It's the end of the holidays, going back to work, rada rada. And then I managed to get through all of that because my flight literally closes in like 30 minutes. So I've got to board now. Ugh. Awesome day. Awesome. <laughs> made it to my gate and they're not doing anything yet so I'm gonna see if I can publish a video <laughs> right now with the Wi-Fi. Oh, it's been a good day. It's only gonna get better from here. because I have a session today. I'm not actually going to fitness first, like my gym today, but I have a session or an appointment uh, with my functional movement therapist, if you will. This, this face, I look so tanned. <laughs> now, I know that we totally, sorry. Okay, this is, good job, Kate, you did well. You did real well. I'm glad that we did this. This was time well spent. Now, I know that we decided, uh, all of us collectively, that artificial sweeteners are potentially still spiking my insulin, therefore keeping me out of, or knocking me out of ketosis momentarily, kind of, right? I only went from 0.6 to, uh, to 1.0, which is only kind of a sign of what things could be. Yesterday, I didn't have my sweetener in my coffee and I was completely fat fed. There was a bit of protein, but I mean, come on but I need to use this stuff up I need to get the energy up I'm so like <sighs> I kind of feel like it's nap time which it totally isn't so to prevent that nap thinking I'm going to find a bottle to put my 
stuff in and drink it. I may as well just use a glass because I've got these really cute glasses. Do I show you guys? I've never shown the vlog, but I've shown my main channel. So I'm gonna have a scoop, maybe half, a scoop and a half. Because I don't know actually what it's sweetened with. It doesn't actually tell you the ingredients, which kind of worries me slightly. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's cool. <laughs> anyway, scooping half this. Okay, so I ended up being better than I said I would be. I only had one scoop and I am justifying it. And I know not many of you would quite understand this, but I am justifying it because I'm about to go to the gym, which means um, that I'll be kind of putting myself back into ketosis with exercise by burning up any glycogen. I mean, I don't, won't have any gl glucose or glycogen really available. I don't know. I, I still feel like doing exercise is going to knock me back into ketosis and lower my insulin. Yeah, that's just an effective exercise. So I should be fine. And after the gym, I have some errands to run because I came home and realized I don't have any toothpaste, nor do I have any cream, which are two things that I need. And I'm starting to think, if an artificial sweetener can potentially lower your ketones, then the artificial sweetener in your toothpaste would work similarly too. Because dad was saying that it's not about what's actually being consumed it's about what you taste what your body thinks it's about to consume so if you're faking your like if you're tricking your body into oh we're about to have something sweet we're about to have something sweet and then it's like well okay i'll send out the insulin that would work for toothpaste too if any of you have a better understanding of how artificial sweeteners work <laughs> let me know because i've just kind of been not even artificial sweeteners but artificial sugars because stevia is natural, but it's an artificial sugar. Um, it doesn't spike your blood sugar. As you saw, my blood sugar is very low, which is good. <laughs> and I shouldn't have any, and I mean, I didn't actually check my insulin, but the theory is because you can only really have one or the other, high blood sugar, or sorry, high insulin or high ketones. I should have high ketone, high ketones because I only eat fat except for the artificial sweetness. So I'm gonna tie my shoes and skedaddle and we are gonna have an awesome time. Holy shit, you guys. I had the most amazing walk here. I was ridiculously early. I always forget that it only takes me 30 minutes to get places, if not less. So I had 30 minutes to spare. So now I'm going on another walk. But I just had like this pure bliss like just smile on my face not a care in the world being able to look at everything and be like wow shit like in the city there's a lot of humans and and at one stage I was just like it is so cool to be able to live on a planet where there are just so many humans like I mean there's not humans on any other planet and like, I live in a place where I get to see them a lot. And normally that's a, a complaint of mine. <laughs> but today it was like, they're pack animals. They have a sense of identity. Like it's, I don't know, it was just really awe filled for a walk. Like just an awe inspiring walk. And just being able to see the beauty in everything. Like everything. Really cool, really really cool so I went to the gym the gym's in the hospital because it's with a um, neurologist a neuroscientist and um, enjoyed the AC now I'm coming back out to get some footage of the park feel the vlog and yeah
My favorite toothpaste is a half price. I feel like Oprah when I said that. <laughs> Strengthens enamel and removes up to 90% in seven days. This one is up to 90% in five days. So I'm gonna take both of those. I don't know, oh, I guess this one's better for your teeth. Oh well, I just want them white. <laughs> I don't care. Also got myself some tamari almonds and some salted roasted almonds. Do I need mouth rinse? Probably, hey. Hmm, I don't have the Oral-B whitening one, I don't think. That's okay. No need to feel disappointed. I had some really good luck today. Really good luck, actually. I'll tell you guys how incredibly lucky I am when I get home. Okay, so I've been home a good long while now. I've been watching, actually binge watching the fuck out of um, Sexplanations. I love Lindsay. She is so amazing, honestly. And I watched a few of the Katie Morton videos that I hadn't seen yet. It is getting dark out, but it's also raining out and it's so cool. Oh, finally. It's like a blessed release. <laughs> or relief. It is a blessed relief from the heat that we've been having all day. Which, I mean, it's Brisbane. It's going to be hot this entire fucking four months. <laughs> but it just feels really good, so I'm opening all the windows and doors. And let me just... Actually, that's, I need to get my microphone because I'm about to stream. Um, let me just tell you what happened today because... As you know, uh, I flew home from Sydney this morning and I I woke up really easy. Sally wasn't being difficult. She was sooky, but I mean that's to be expected. So Sally was really pretty calm, which was good. Dad was pretty calm as well. The I woke up really easy, Dad woke up pretty easy as well. Sally was pretty calm. And then I started kind of getting annoyed because the taxi that we ordered for 6 a.m. didn't show up. So dad called, still didn't show up. Dad called again, still didn't show up. And then it gets there at 6.44. And I was like, I'm not gonna let this bother me. It just, it, it felt fine. Like I was a little annoyed when we were waiting for it, but I just felt totally relaxed and at peace and like, you know, it meant that I got to have a coffee with my dad. It got, it meant that I got to talk to dad a little bit more, obviously. And then I get in the taxi and I was like, how long does this normally take? Cause I was getting a little bit nervous. He didn't show up until 6.44. My flight was at eight. So I kind of needed to be there in 15 minutes in order to get through security quickly enough to like have a little bit of time. I get in there and it's like, oh, 15 to 20 minutes. And the drive was fine. He was fine. It was all good. And then I get there and it was literally <laughs> so packed. The airport was literally wall to wall with people, like a nightclub. It was awful. It w okay, I say it was awful, but it, w it wasn't because I'm in line, I'm fine, I'm not stressing. I'm like, it was, it was just this complete, like tranquil feeling. Not, not really, not yet. I knew I had this unwavering faith, I guess, that I was getting it on that plane and everything would be okay and then it didn't matter if I was a little bit late or whatever. Like it was, it was just, it felt fine. And so, sorry I'm moving because I was getting tired of holding the camera. Um, and this looks ridiculous and I apologize. But anyways, so I'm in the queue. I'm talking to the ladies behind me. We're just having a laugh because over the, <laughs> over the, uh, what is it, speakerphone? No, intercom? No. The loudspeaker? You know what I mean, the, the thing that everyone hears. They're like, all guests flying with Virgin Australia, which I was, uh, please expect delays. We're, we're experiencing high levels of, you know, people. And I just kind of laughed and was like, really? They're busy? No, I never would have guessed, you know? Because it was literally, we would walk like the queue was moving just fine, but it was so, so packed that they had queues in places where queues are not meant to be. Like honestly, queues should not be everywhere that they were. I just kind of made a joke about it. And then people are calling out, people flying, you know, all guests flying to Brisbane on blank at 8 a.m. move to immediate boarding. 
so I did. Well, I got through the check-in super quickly, although she didn't take my velocity number because my dad didn't have it, so I'm gonna put that in online, like that's fine. She didn't ask security questions, but I wasn't a security breach, like I've done it before. And then I get through security like that because just <laughs> this, honestly, uh, just as I get there, they opened up another like aisle for people to go through security and like have their bags x-rayed and to get x-rayed do you see what i mean when i say like being calm and collected and like having a positive mindset shit just opens up for you <laughs> and so i get through security like that one guy had to take off his belt but the like one passenger or like guest i guess had to take off his belt because it was metal, so he stepped to the side and the security guard was like, show him how it's done. <laughs> it was really sweet. It was actually quite lovely. And I got through super quick, was able to chuck my laptop, my cameras and everything back into my bag and head to my thing. And I was like, okay, my, my gate is a little bit away, but it's fine. They're not gonna leave without me. Like I got there just at about 7.30 and nothing was happening at the gate. I was like, well, I mean, I kind of want to make a video live right now, so I'm going to take advantage of the free Wi-Fi. I managed to get to my gate on time and still have time to go through a video, put in a card, put in the end screen and annotation, end screen thing, and make it live and then tweet about it. And then I think I put it on Facebook as well. Like, I, I was so smooth getting through all of the airport drama and then get on the train, nobody bothered. Oh, that was the other thing, getting on the train. Okay, so I get on the train. <laughs> this has honestly been one of the most incredible days of my life and I can just tell that it's gonna be the rest of the year. I get off my plane, I'm able to urinate, as I told you guys, and then I'm able to pick up my bag without any problems get to the train station, I, I'm able to check my go card, top it up with more money, and then walk straight onto a train and be taken to where I need to go. I don't have anyone bother me this time because sometimes trains, people, like especially the airport train from the airport to places, people like to ask me, where am I going? I'm like, I don't know, dude, let me Google map it for you, which I don't have any problem with. But the point is like, it was really nice to not have to worry about that. And there was a really attractive chick sitting across from me and I kind of gave her, few looks not gonna lie but uh she didn't really notice me and she read and oofed anyway i digress <laughs> center so the train ride perfect and then as i'm walking home i just have the biggest stupidest grin on my face and i realize i'm going back to my apartment and this this wonderment of like living on my own and being the the master of my own domain and and kind of having my shit together and being home and just everything was so blissful and i just soaked that up and i just i held on to the feeling and then everything everything's just been fine today and then i went to my pt session I was half an hour early, which, I mean, it's to be expected. I'm the most A-type, A-type you could ever get. And this is even with me walking slow in complete bewilderment of the world because I was just so incredibly amazed by everything that was surrounding me. And like, I just had this amazing feeling of like, fuck, imagine, imagine the chances, like imagine the chances of being born not only on planet Earth, but in a country that is not struggling and in a city where you can hold your own in a life where you can hold your own and 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 being able to witness other people who are there as tourists as you know citizens of the planet as just it honestly was such an incredible feeling and i just really I've really been filled with a massive sense of complete, pure, utter bliss today. And I've held on to it and I've cherished it. And I've really learned a few lessons about like not freaking out. And, and I guess how much I really truly value my own company. And how much I really truly value my own life and all that it means for me. Because so often I personally, and I don't know about you guys, I, and I, I know I've been talking for a really long time and I apologize. But I personally get swept away with like forcing myself into a position of service where I'm 
obviously not meant to be and that is for my parents in a in a way that doesn't benefit anyone so in the last couple of vlogs i've been complaining about oh i've been cleaning i've been cleaning i've been cleaning i didn't need to clean i mean well i did i did need to clean it needed a clean but like obviously i was in this fucking wigged out place because i was forcing a square through a circle you know what I mean I was putting myself in a situation where I was like I need to and I was almost worrying about like do I need to stay here to look after dad does dad need to care of those sorts of things but by the end of that visit I, I saw dad kind of get up onto his own two feet and felt comfortable there and then I was like oh maybe I want to stay but then the smoothness of today has just affirmed to me that I'm absolutely <laughs> being looked after I am so thankful for everything <laughs> absolutely everything and I don't really know how better to explain the, that was the other thing that happened so I knew that I was pushing it a little bit late with my electricity bill but I came home my electricity was still on and I got a call at the perfect time from my electricity company saying hey just letting you know you owe us money and I was like yeah how much and she gave me the figure and I was like oh that all like yeah I'll just pay that I was thinking it was gonna be some awkward like I'll pay this much now and I'll pay this much tomorrow and I promise I'm not a bad person <laughs> and she's just like it's this amount I'm like I literally have more than that in my account right now why was I putting this off but I was able to top my go card I was able to um, to pay my electricity bill I didn't have any delays or like disruptions to my day I have a new patreon on pa patron on patreon thank you I have people subscribing to my main channel, which, I mean, I'm not, I'm just so grateful for how today has gone. And that is everything that happened. I mean, it's probably not everything that happened today. There were so many things that just, I'm in such a blissful state right now that it's great. And I am probably in a live stream right now, me playing Sims. So that I can control the lives of other people and give them the bliss that I have felt. And my session was amazing, by the way, guys. We did shoulders because my delts are <laughs> really shit. My, sh my shoulders are my weak point. I mean, I got good buys, though. And my tries are... You can't see it because I got, I got thick arms, honey. I got, some, I got some thick arms, honey. But I do have a good tricep definition as well. I just need to work on my delts. You know, those ones and those ones and... Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this breeze, this beautiful rain. Honestly, fuck. Like, the planet just does shit right. I don't know if any of you are going to be like, this chick is cooked. <laughs> Which, maybe I am, but I, I am... Wow. So, I'm going to set up my microphone that I pulled out of my suitcase, and I'm going to live stream Sims. <sighs> Thank you guys all so much for watching. I know this has been a long one, and I'm really super duper appreciative of your viewership. And I'm really super duper appreciative of everything that the universe and you guys are kind of handing to me, which sounds a little bit narcissistic and like egocentric, but it's it's just part of my faith in my belief system, so to speak. So, thank you. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day or morning or evening or whatever time of day it is for you. And I apologize for the length of this vlog. I hope you appreciate it. And you guys will see me tomorrow when I'm actually going to see a friend that I haven't seen in literally years. So that's going to be amazing. And I'm also going to go to the gym again because I need to do legs. That's the thing that I need to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good night, guys.